the Bulldozer build, a build focused on absolute tankiness as well as shotgun proficiency. Because sometimes, you have to fight fire with fire. So for our skills today, we're going to focus on becoming as tanky as possible while also increasing our damage output as much as we can. This build is very heavy Enforcer Fugitive. So, in Enforcer, we have Underdog, Shotgun Impact, Shotgun CKP, Close By, Far Away Ace, and Overkill Basic. This is for our shotguns. Resilience, Die Hard, Shock and Awe, Bullseye, Iron Man Ace, and Transporter Basic. This will help make us as tanky as physically possible. In Fugitive, Martial Arts, Bloodthirst Basic, Pumping Iron, Berserker, and Frenzy, all aced. This will increase our damage for our ranged weapons when we have Frenzy and Berserker Ace combined. And with the rest of my skill points, I have Drill Skills, Hardware Expert, and Drill Sergeant, as well as a little bit of Mobility, Duck and Cover, and Parkour. For our perk deck, we're going to be using the Anarchist perk deck. When considering what weapons to use, there are three different bulldozers we can choose from. The Skull Dozer, the Black Dozer, and the Green Dozer. The Skull carries an LMG, the Black carries a Saiga Shotgun, and the Green carries a Reinfeld. We're going to combine the Skull and the Green to get the best of both worlds, LMG and a Shotgun. So for our primary, we're using the KSB-58 with the Short Barrel, Ported Compensator, Lion Bipod, Lead Combo, and the plastic stock. For our secondary, we're using the locomotive 12 gauge shotgun with flechette, shark teeth nozzle, lead combo, rubber grip, extended magazine, speculator sight, two piece stock, and the shell rack. For our melee, we're using our fists, because dozers love the fist people, grenade throwable, ammo bag deployable, and ICTV armor. Okay, so far out of all the builds, this one surprised me the most. I did not expect it to be nearly as effective as it was. I knew for certain that I wanted a build that is very upfront tanky, and what I mean by that is something that has a very high threshold of tankiness, kind of like a bulldozer. I didn't want something that builds up to be tanky, like stacking tied hostages with forced friendship, or something that averages out to be tanky, like using muscle, where the combination of armor and health makes you hard to kill. I wanted a very straightforward upfront method of dealing with damage. The Anarchist perk deck was perfect for this since it gives you a crazy boost to your armor right from the start. You don't need to work the perk deck to get some effects, you don't need to rely on any combinations, you just are. My ICTV right now is rocking 400 armor, which is crazy high. That's a whole lot of punishment you can take. Perfect for masochists like me. Getting armor numbers like that is achieved by picking up Iron Man. Both basic and ace contribute to the armor since you'll be able to wear ICTV with the ace version, and with the basic, it'll increase the armor value by 30%. Normally, I like to min-max my setup, mostly grabbing only what I need, not more, but with this setup, I kinda just said fuck it when picking up my skills. I just dumped all my points into anything remotely dealing with armor skills in the tank subtree. I think doing that actually ended up making me waste more than I should have too, since I ended up getting Die Hard Ace, which only affects ballistic vests, not armor like ICTV, so... Whoops, my bad on that part. Unfortunately, I already finished recording and editing all the other parts of the video, so I won't be able to change that now. If I did, I would have to redo the whole entire thing. If you guys want to know, I usually do this part last in the video making process. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll show you guys how I make my shit. Nah, doubt anyone cares. Anyway, while Die Hard Ace doesn't really help, everything else does. Shock and Awe is great, even if I perk that can't make the most of it since it'll pass on to my teammates and help them out. Getting Bullseye Ace is a really nice skill to have with the Anarchist perk back since you're just stacking armor regen on top of armor regen. Because your armor won't regenerate normally while running Anarchist, having anything to boost up the regen is appreciated. If you don't know how the Anarchist perk deck works, what happens is by dishing out damage, you'll regen armor, and you're also given these huge armor numbers in exchange for your total health. But the main caveat is that you don't regenerate armor normally, meaning if you hide in a corner, it'll take forever for you to get any armor back. You have to be actively fucking shit up. It'll be pretty obvious if you pay attention to my health bar during the gameplay when I take damage. Anyway, this combination of skills and armor just makes sense. You're quite literally a bulldozer in this way, since once your armor breaks, you have very little health left. 
just like when you break a bulldozer's faceplate. He becomes much easier to kill. A slightly unintended side effect that follows the character just that much closer. So the same idea went into picking up skills in the shotgunner subtree of Enforcer. Usually I pick up just what's necessary, which is normally damage. Shotgun CQB, shotgun impact, and overkill. This time I picked up both far away and close by ace as well. I still only have overkill basics since I don't plan on switching my weapons that often, so the extra damage will go to waste. Now let me just say that holy shit, I haven't really tried these skills much, but I finally gave them a go, and the fucking range! The range on these shotguns, it's unreal! I slapped it on the locomotive, and I was totally blown away. I decided to put on flashit on it as well, and... Pfft, the range! I like it! <laughs> I just couldn't, it was glorious! I haven't tried it with the double barrel shotguns, but I imagine that thing to have as much range as a sniper rifle. It's so glorious. Damage, range, and the tight spread while aiming down the sights, a fast reload. Hot damn, shotguns were glorious before, I didn't think they could get even better. So not only the range, but also the increased rate of fire on an already fast firing locomotive is pretty mind blowing. Being able to run and shoot your shotties at the same time too is also pretty nice. And that's really all I got to say about that. So, with the last part of the build, I decided to give the Berserker Ace and Frenzy combo a go. I was never a huge user of Berserker in the past, well, actually for a number of reasons. Back then, I would mainly go dodge, this was before the perk decks were around, and even when they were, I didn't use armor that much. If I did, I tend to skip out on it since I feel like I didn't really need it, and I should spend my points elsewhere. You know, with the whole min-maxing skill points thing, I felt like I was doing myself a disservice by putting more points in Enforcer than I needed to. Besides, when considering shotguns, they're not weapons that need the extra damage from Berserker anyway. You really only pick that up if you wanted to boost the damage on your assault rifles. Plus, getting Berserker to proc was pretty difficult. You basically had to die on Deathwish and then just not heal, which I would much rather heal, given the chance, or just not die at all. With these skills now, though, it's much easier to get the most out of the extra damage from Berserker. Old Berserker, you needed to be under 25% health to get the extra damage. Now, you only need to be under 50% health. The damage you get scales with how much health you have. The lower it is, the more damage you're doing. With Frenzy, you're put at 30% of your maximum health, and you can't go above that. So, you're always within the effects of Berserker. And well into it, too not only just reaching the 50% for a very marginal damage boost. I love that they added this combo, since forcing you to take damage for the sake of proccing your Berserker damage was... pretty dumb. Of course, since this isn't a pure melee build, you need to get Berserker Ace for the effects to carry over to ranged weapons. To follow along with the whole Bulldozer character, I also went for a few of the melee skills, picked up Pumping Iron and Bloodthirster damage. With this particular setup, it honestly goes unused since you have two weapons that excel at close range, but still, fisting people to death is pretty hilarious. Not so hilarious when it's the bulldozer that decides to punch you in the face, but when you do it, it's great. Sometimes they use a gun butt and sometimes they literally just punch you, so I decided to just go with the fist. With throwable, I took along nade since that's the staple dozer counter. Just toss one at their feet to stun them and go to town on their face. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about the weapons. With the Loco, I'm sure many people know how good that shotgun is, regardless of the setup you're going with. As long as you've got the skills for it, that thing packs a punch, and it's really easy to chain kills with it. Normally, I hate sights on the shotgun since, well, I hit fire shotguns like 90% of the time, and usually all it does is take up space on my screen. But this is the only time I'll make an exception to that, as long as I've got the setup for long range shotties. Flechette and far away. The locomotive with shotgun skills paired with berserker damage makes for one scary shotgun, but what's really amazing is the berserker damage with the LMG. So of course I brought along an LMG just like the Skulldozer, really any one of them will do. I do like the KSP-58 though, it's got that large magazine so you can shoot for a long time. The LMGs don't possess that amazing of damage, so the boost from Berserker is quite noticeable. But what's really great about the LMG is the synergy it has with the Anarchist perk deck. This perk deck has a relatively short cooldown for the armor regeneration, so as long as you keep on doing damage, you'll keep on getting armor back. 
paired with the headshot armor regen from Bullseye, you can create a wonderful cycle of regen as long as you keep shooting. And one of the best weapon types in the game for continuous shooting is the LMG. As long as everything is right in front of you, you can keep on going on for days. I mean, the gameplay here should really show you how well it works. Enemies pile up only to be destroyed by the LMG. They get knocked around, they fall over, they die, one by one. Even when fighting dozers, with the insane armor I have, I can stand right in front of them with the LMG and just kill them before they even break my armor. I mean hell, during this gameplay I just stood up against a skull dozer and a black dozer and walked away pretty much unscathed. It was really surprising how well this build works. I love it.